Hi, Tim with SI here. In this video, we're going to be talking about using the SDN motor configuration software to configure a Fontis motor controller for an SI screen. Now, the components needed to do this are the SI USB programming cable, the USB dongle, and the Fontis codec controller. To configure the SI screen, we will need to connect the USB cable to the dongle and directly to the screen or to a Janus that that screen is connected to. The Fontis motor controller must be removed during this programming step. Once we have the devices connected, we will need to go into the software and select the ports option and select the correct COM port for the USB programming cable. We'll click connect. Now, once we've connected this, there are a couple of ways of getting to the configuration portion. One, we can use the auto discovery. In this case, we click the auto discovery button and we tell the system how many motors we have on the system. For this example, I have one. Now, once we do that, we'll see that that motor will be discovered on the right hand side. So with that, I can copy and paste that address into my motor address section here and start my configuration. Another way to do it, if you're connected directly to the motor, you can simply click the get single motor address. This will populate the motor and you're ready to go. Once we have that done and we're, we're connected, to set or modify the limits uh, on an SI screen, the only section here that we need to use is this reset motor section under the adjust limits reset motor section. So we'll select that button click OK on the pop-up menu. Now, the only thing that we don't want to do here is use the reset motor button. We'll only need that if we know that the configuration is bad and needs to be, re it needs to be completed again. So in this case, uh, for a quick identification, we can wink the motor. What this button does is that forces the motor to jog one time. Just a quick way to identify the motor and make sure that we're working on the correct screen. Outside of that, we have the set down and set up that we're going to be using. So this section here, the up and down. This number here is the increment in which the screen is going to move either up or down. Now 10 is a very small increment and we have a range of 10 to 240. 240 is a rather long movement. So in this case we're going to start with say 20. That is a good short movement so we can just fine adjust that limit. So in this case if we wanted to adjust the lower limit we would go to the lower limit first and you can do that in the movement section. There's an up limit and lower limit. We'll actually move the screen to that limit. Now, once we're there, we select our movement size, our increment, and then we use the up and down buttons to move that screen to the position that we want it. And again, we can go larger or smaller with that number if we need a bigger or a finer movement. Now, once we get the screen right in the position that we want it, in this case, we would click the set down at current. That applies that setting directly to the screen and that becomes our new limit. We do the same with the upper limit. So again, in this case, we would send the motor up to its current limit. We would set our increment. In this case, I'm gonna go really small. And then we would simply use the up and down buttons to set that limit right where we want it. And then click the set up at current. That is all that's required to change or even set new limits on that screen.